it's Lindsay with New Mexico Surrogacy. Happy Friday to a long weekend. Um, the question today is, what is your best advice for the matching process? Is it more the IP's choice or is it more the surrogate's choice or both? Um, so our first, first of all, our best advice is um, just to be yourself, just be authentic. Um, you want somebody that is going to be a good match for you, so you need to be yourself. Um, so if you're who you are and you just let your beliefs be known, then we're going to match you with the perfect person. So the process is we meet with both parties. We meet with the gestational carrier and we meet with the intended parents. And um, based on that, we put together what we think is a great match, you know, looking at their profiles. And then um, what we do first is we send the gestational carrier profile to the intended parents. And then um, if the intended parents are like, yeah, they look pretty cool, you know, we look at things based on termination beliefs, religious beliefs, um, contact you want to have during the pregnancy and beyond personalities in general, we obviously take that into consideration because that's, you know, certain personalities mesh better with other personalities. Um, so if the IPs agree to the GC, then we send the gestational carrier the intended parents profile. And then if they say that's cool, then we set up a match meeting. At the match meeting, um, we have it in person or via Skype, and somebody from our agency will be there and just to mediate everything and make sure everybody gets everything out on the table, um, everyone gets all their questions answered, and then both parties go away from that meeting and they think about it, they think about everything they've talked about, and both parties have to say yes, that's a very important, because if one party says no and the other party says yes, then it's not a perfect match. If both say yes, then it's a match, hooray. Um, and even if you have the slightest, the slightest doubt whatsoever, we recommend don't do it because generally, if you have something that bugs you, even if you can't put your finger on it, that's only gonna grow during the process. Um, so if both parties say yes, then it's a match and that's fantastic. Uh, but yeah, both parties have to say yes. So both parties have equal say, both parties can say no at any point up until you sign the contract, obviously. Um, so yeah, that's it. Happy Friday. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Thanks so much.